Are you guys ready for some home, home kitchen cabinet and drawer organization? I'm going to be reusing stuff I already have, just doing some cleaning and organizing, so I hope you enjoy. Hello guys, my name is Krista. I live in the desert with my husband and two children, under two and under, and I enjoy putting together homemaking videos, things that I do around the home, and I hope that it's encouraging to you or that maybe you get some ideas from some of the different things that I do or try to do on a regular basis. So anyways, here's a little glimpse into one morning this last week when I decided to tackle some of the drawers in the kitchen and just get them cleaned up a little bit. putting together videos just featuring different homemaking things whether I'm cleaning around the house or making meals or prepping or you know just things to take care of our home and I hope that it encourage you, encourages you guys as you take care of your homes or maybe are preparing to take care of your home one day. Here's a real genuine, honest shot. When I went to wash the glass from the fan, I had to empty out part of the sink because some of the dishes needed to be done. So anyways, cleared half of it out and then got to work on cleaning the glass. Actually, some of my family were in town, so my sister helped me out with some of the video, which was, very, which was pretty fun. We didn't realize until after, but through part of the lens was smudged, so anyways, you'll have to hopefully overlook that part. But I just took some water and just rinsed them down wiped them with a cloth and scrubbed them with a brush as needed. If you haven't already noticed, Yes, I did get a haircut. I got my sister's help with it. She's awesome at cutting hair and while she was here I was like, hey, can you give me a haircut? And so she did. It turned out really, really awesome. I really like the length and everything. My hair grows fairly fast so I'm not too worried about it, you know, getting long again. But for now I'm just enjoying something different. Some of these drawers in my kitchen get a lot of use. Multiple times a day I'm getting into them and I decided it was time to go into them and get them cleaned out. As you can see there's crumbs and gunk in there so I pulled everything out and then I grabbed a vacuum and sucked up the dust first and then I took a cloth to it.
out the drawer, then I just took emptied all the utensils out of the container so I could clean out the black containers that they had been sitting in. It's amazing how much dirt and stuff were, were in those. It's kind of gross. It didn't take long to get them washed and cleaned up though. That was fairly easy. So I'm very curious, some people like to keep their utensils and stuff on the counter and other people keep them in drawers. I feel like if I didn't have a lot of space, obviously I would have to keep them on the counter. But if you had a choice, which would you prefer? If you had a choice of maybe having lots of drawers, would you keep your, your, your utensils in the drawer or are you the kind of person to, no matter what, keep them in a container on the counter? I try to keep my counters as clear as possible and one thing, that, one way I can do that is by keeping the utensils in a drawer just because I actually, I do have the space right now for which I'm, I will say I'm grateful. Then as I put all the utensils back in the drawer, I just sorted through them, pulling out ones that we didn't use or didn't need anymore, and keeping the ones that I used the most. There were some where there were duplicates, and I figured it's good to have a couple of those, but on the other hand, but there were some where I hadn't used them in a long time, or I thought they were cool but never used them, so I was just trying to sort through and just keep the ones that we really got the most use out of. it's a bad habit but when I use the measuring spoons for dry ingredients sometimes I'll well more often than not I'll just use them real quick and throw them back in the little blue container but I thought hey you know I should just take them and wipe them down I know it that's pretty bad for getting contaminants especially if someone was like gluten-free this would be a huge no-no but that's probably why the blue container had so much grit and powder and stuff in the bottom was because of doing that anybody else would do that It's not like these drawers were horribly messy or incredibly dirty per se, it was more they just needed to just get kind of wiped down and stuff, which I figure is good to do every once in a while. 
my favorite thing is to pull out the vacuum once I've pulled everything out and just give it a good suctioning out, like get all the little bits of dirt or whatever, little bits of dust, and then wipe it out and put everything back. It's It didn't actually take that long. It just takes a little bit to get going on it. You know, the mental part, that's the biggest part, isn't it? Anyone else feel that? Your feelings will follow as you get going on stuff. I had actually swapped these drawers at one point accidentally. I don't know how it happened, but I just never switched them. And we, I used the... Since I get into the container that has the little fridge containers and everything, I use those a lot. And so I was like, okay, it's time. Once I clean the drawer, then I'm not going to put this one back in the middle. It's going to go on the bottom like it's supposed to. And this is why you clean every once in a while. Then you find things that you maybe had fallen or gotten out of reach. So I was able to pick up that stick. And I was also able to vacuum down the bottom of the cabinet. I would never have thought really to look down here. So it was nice to see the stuff and to get, get it taken care of. It seems like as time goes on, I'm slowly noticing things are coming up with ways to add personality and style to our home. And the other day I was looking at the cabinets and the hardware, thinking about how it doesn't look very antique, does it? <laughs> our door hinges are all more brass, antique brass, and someday maybe we'll get different hardware for the cabinets. But for now, I feel like these are kind of simple enough that they don't really stand out as being crazy modern. Now I could use some of that rub and buff on them, but I didn't want to worry about it right now. We're just gonna clean up the fronts of the drawers and call it good for now. Maybe about a month ago or so, I did actually go through this container of, I want to say Tupperware, it's not Tupperware, but these containers that I use for food for the fridge. So everything was fairly in great shape, it wasn't really horrible. The lids were kind of all jumbled up, but overall it wasn't too bad, I just pulled it out and cleaned the drawer up. That's one perk of going through and organizing stuff. Also the perk, I guess, of not having other people help you. I know once the kids start doing more, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more you know, putting things together and trying to keep them, you know, orderly and stuff, but it's going to be a work in progress for sure. Now if you want to see what things really look like when they haven't been cleaned in a while, this turntable was pretty dirty. It's where I keep my cans of food that we use on a regular basis and then any extra condiments or sauces, sometimes extras that I don't need to store in the fridge or just backups to ones I have in the fridge. But it thankfully wasn't very hard to clear this off. I feel like sometimes it seems like certain tasks are huge and they're like overwhelming. But once you get in and start working on it, it's like, oh, that wasn't too bad. That's more often the case than not. I don't know if any of you guys noticed that. It literally took me maybe five minutes to clean this off or less. So yeah, if you've got an area where you're dreading taking care of it, I challenge you just to do one area and see how long it takes you. And you know, once you do one thing, I find it's often really encouraging and then it makes you want to just keep, keep on going. It's super motivating.
Now for the silverware drawer. You know, it could be I haven't even cleaned it ever. Like, we got married three years ago, so three years ago I put everything in it, and I'm not even sure I cleaned it since then. Is that bad? I don't know. It's not an area, though, that should really get too dirty if you think about it, because you're putting clean stuff in it, taking it out, but look at all the crumbs and stuff. That was, I was like, how'd that stuff get in there? Anyways, I was able just to clean it out. Hey, do you guys know, are you supposed to take those liners out? I kind of like the way it looks against the silverware, so I left it. I did go through my straws and clean out a bunch I don't typically use. Kind of just keep the favorite ones. And then it was all done. Now this is kind of my random kitchen appliance drawer. I did clean it out maybe a month ago or so and kind of went through it decluttering stuff. So today it wasn't that hard. I just did it, gave it a quick wipe and then it was all good to put everything back into it. Here's something random. We forgot to put in a spacer when we were putting the cabinets in. So as a result, this drawer does not open all the way. I don't know if you can see there, but it catches on the handle of the the drawer next to it or the the door next to it which was kind of an oops but we didn't realize it until we put the hardware on and couldn't open the drawer all the way that's just kind of one of those whips <laughs> Now my pans, I for sure have not cleaned this one out either since we got married. I had a couple pans that, I had at least one pan that I knew I would, didn't really want to keep. And the cutting boards, I feel like those are always good to have on hand. Anyways, I pulled everything out and then you can see the wear and tear on the bottom of the cabinet. But I want to say this is one of the cabinets that was already here when we got the this was one of the cabinets that was already here at the house. We did kind of save some of the cabinets that the previous owner had used, and then we added some as we needed them. But this was one that had already been used. So after cleaning, vacuuming it out, then I just put everything back, tried to organize it, and kept out the things that I decided I didn't need to use anymore. When it came to this little drawer with cloths, it's actually one that I wasn't sure how to use. You know, that's really a blessing, isn't it, when you have a dr extra drawers to where it's like, what do I use this for? But I had thrown in extra cloths, rags, ones that my husband could use outside if he needed. But I decided really that wasn't necessary to keep all of these here in the kitchen. So I did sort through them and kept a couple of them in the house for cleaning and stuff. But I did pull out, I had a couple cloths my mother-in-law had given me for Christmas, which was really nice because I never think to buy that kind of stuff, but then my cloths get so disgusting. So anyways, I pulled those out and threw that into the drawer so they were ready to be grabbed and used for household stuff. Now this is kind of my extra drawer where I put kitchen not utensils, I don't know, supplies or stuff that I don't use on a regular basis but I need to have on hand. Things like my husband's favorite, you know, cheese grater or cookie scoop or pizza cutters. I had two vintage little cutters, I ended up only keeping one of those. And I had spare battery operated whisks, I go through those, those tend to wear out after a couple months. So, and I use those, I use them every day if not twice a day, so they definitely last a while. Got a new can opener and then got matches and stuff like that. So I was able just to go through it and organize. Thank you for hanging out with me and I hope you guys are motivated to tackle some areas in your home. I hope you have a great day.